Now let's get to some of your feedback following part one of the series last night. I introduced you to Hunter Graham, whose son Austin killed his mother Teresa mid psychosis after his parents did everything they could to try and get Austin mental health care. Austin was resistant to voluntary treatment and it took the murder of his own mother to get him forced care. One of the main themes in many of your comments was simply heartbreak. Deborah wrote to us, the Graham family's story is devastating, shattering, and enraging. It was heartbreaking to hear Mr. Graham say that we failed spectacularly. Mr. Graham, you and your wife did not fail your son. The system failed your entire family in the most senseless, deeply misguided way. You are in my prayers. How about this comment from our YouTube page? This story hurts my heart. I always was proud to live in Portland and that Oregon seemed so progressive in regards to the rights of people. I see Portland now and I can't go back. Oregon just is a sit back, watch and pray for rescue kind of place now. It's okay to care about people and their rights, but once those rights affect society like this, changes must be made. I just want to say thank you for bringing this to the light. Um, it, it's unconscionable that we have to go through this and they have to go through this. We need help. Here's another comment from YouTube. Having been a mental health provider for 40 years, we must face the fact that our great experiment of deinstitutionalizing those with mental illness has failed miserably. We need to admit this in order to make a broad and sweeping systems change that will keep people safe. And we'll end on this from Marty. Your story on mental health really brought home how important it is for all of us to get behind the upgrade in healthcare so desperately needed. My heart broke to hear about the story about the mother killed by her son. And they were trying so hard to help him. What a hard story to share. Thank you for making that point. And if you missed any of my previous uncommitted coverage, you can catch up right now on KGW Plus. That's our free streaming app available now on Roku, Amazon Fire, and Apple TV. And if that doesn't work for you, we have a new landing page on our website where all of the published uncommitted stories from the past year and a half are featured. Just head to KGW.com uncommitted or head to the KGW YouTube page and find the uncommitted section.